Uh, it's right here. Uh -huh. Isn't that the only one, though? <laughs> oh, wait, I accidentally started recording. Haha, <laughs> next spot, go. Uh -huh. Welcome, everybody. This is my version 1.2 next bot tutorial. Let's go. This is actually a recreation of the first bot, but basically, I didn't change much. All you have to do in order to make this the best next bot ever is you need a break from the ants. If you tap now, change the workspace gravity, change the humanoid speed, change its custom physical properties. I'm going to show you how to do all of that. If you, if you create a blank new game, let's say I'm in a blank new game and I haven't published my game and I just started out. You're going to go to game settings and it's going to probably tell you to publish in order to access game settings. Just do whatever it says there. And then after you'll get, you'll click back onto the game settings and you'll get this message. You'll get all of these basic info, blah, 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 blah. You're going to go to world and then you're going to change the workspace gravity to, I recommend 50. And we have to change our jump height to I think three is good if you want a Gmod looking jump. In the humanoid, you disable the auto jump and you disable the jump check. You're going to change the walk speed to a super fast amount. Like this is a ton. What this actually looks like is like a hundred. So you got to make it like 50 units more than the actual walk speed that you want it to be because of these custom physical properties. And I'm not gonna mess up the elasticity. So these are my recommended ones. Density, elasticity, weight, friction, blah, 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 blah. If you don't want any of this, you can change it to massless, but boy, that's gonna go and do some crazy drifts. You have these, don't touch these really. You don't need to do anything. Monster script, literally nothing. And to change the image, Obviously, you are gonna go to the images and you're going to the oh <laughs> oh <laughs> Oh, these are cool <laughs> images Okay, you're gonna copy the asset ID and then paste it in here delete the Roblox asset ID part So you can change the attack damage always put it at <laughs> Change the, the attack frequency really does nothing actually change the attack range to my preferred one 8 to 10 Auto detect spawn point should always be true, and can give up will be false because then it can just give up on you. Change the can respawn to true. You can still kill it because this is the first vault. This is the first one because it works. And the maximum detection distance, as always, is. Okay. Spawn point zero zero zero. You can always copy the position coordinates of the place that you want it to spawn at, but. Basically, that's it. If you want it to target certain humanoid, always change that. And again, if you haven't, if you want some added modifications to your model, in my V1.1 video, you will find these doors and other stuff. That is it. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. Do, 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 do. -na 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 -na. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, the bot has a tiny bit of trouble going up stairs and slopes, so you gotta, well, you basically have to find a way or a loophole around that because that's not good. And there's no fix for that, even if you enable jump. Jeez, that is fast. Where'd it go? What? No, 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 no. What? See, look, what the? Okay. Run. I'm going. Haha. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It can't see me. I'm just better. Again, why?
Why is the bot so slow? Oh, never mind. Uh oh. I'm gonna die! 